Hi everyone, welcome to Just Anji. This is Mwenye Inchi Monday. Hi. And you, I know you're all wondering where Pastor Anji is. She will be back. But today we have a group of the Company of Prophets from Kingdom Business Solutions. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. And we'll be discussing birthing. birthing. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so maybe I can start, can start with birthing yes. because you're you the one who <laughs> recently <laughs> You're the most yes. recent yeah. dad around. I am the most recent uh, to experience bathing. Of course, I did not give birth. <laughs> it's my wife. Um, and this time, something that was very different from the first time was I was actually in the room. Oh. You know, the first time, the first time it was uh, anecdotal. I was listening to the sounds, <laughs> uh, but this time I was actually there. And and the thing for me that actually um, bathing signifies is it's. it's after the process, it's the sigh of relief that comes with it. And um, I know 2019 is a season of birthing. Um, so there has been the carrying of, 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 uh, of the pregnancy, so to speak. And then now there's that moment of birthing. It's a moment where you've pushed and then there's now the final release and the sigh of relief that comes with it. And I think what that means is that it's not all in vain. It's going to come to completion you know he who has begun a great work in you shall see it to completion so that's what i think 2019 is going to be about no matter what you go through that he who has begun a good work in you for 2019 is going to see it to completion mm -hmm. i had a minister uh, with pastor angie somewhere and a minister shared about saturday and i want to relate saturday with bathing um he talked about how on Friday, Easter Friday, Jesus died on the cross, isn't it? At, 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 at uh, what time was it? Midday or 3 p.m.? 3 p.m. At 3 p.m., Jesus died and, and, and the curtains parted. And then uh, on Sunday, he resurrected. But then there was this day that was Saturday where no one knew anything about the <clears throat> resurrection, anything about that particular... It was just a gloomy day. It was just there and... And, and a lot of us find ourselves in a lot of Saturdays, just slightly before the resurrection of that thing that probably was once upon a time put in as a seed. And we are, um, I'm using this context to talk about bad things. So something was put in as a seed and we, we brought it to the time of maturity and it is now about to blossom. But we don't know that it is about that time. So we wait we are fearful, we, 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 we are afraid, we hide ourselves, we, do, we, 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 we pray, but we, we, we pray without faith, it's faith without action. Mm -hmm. But God is, one of the things that God is saying about this new year is that our Saturdays are very close to Sunday, mm -hmm. that we are getting so close to the bathing that we shouldn't give up. Mm -hmm. It is that b bath punks, you know, you, um, if it is a natural delivery, what happens is that there is a lot of bath pangs that that happen, a, a, a lot of contractions that happen. During those contractions, you, as, as the one bathing, you cannot stop with the contractions. You cannot stop pushing. You have to push until the bath, uh, the, the, the baby comes out. The baby is anything, you know, that we are, we are believing God for. So let us push until we give birth. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. And even in terms of You've said the word push. I'm thinking when you're in a season of bathing, there are different stages that you're in. Because there's the, um, as you've said even, there's a Friday, the Saturday, the Sunday. There's different stages that you're in when you're bathing. There's a conception, then there's the time the baby is growing yeah. in the womb, then there's the bathing, now the actual bathing. And bathing for me is very practical. It takes the two of you, because even when you go to the doctor, he says push. Mm. So you have, he has his role and mm. you have your role. Mm. So you can't be passive mm. in bathing. True. Um, so for me, uh, I think that when you're, like we have, we are all anticipating things that we are going to bath this mm. year, you know. Mm. Some of us are very clear what those things are. Some mm. of us know there's something coming, but mm. I'm not quite clear how it's mm. going to come. Mm. But then all of us are required to be active in that role. Mm. One of the things that I remember when I think about bathing in the word of God was the Hebrew women. You remember when the, mm. because in Revelation it says that the enemy, Revelation chapter 12, mm. it says that the dragon was waiting for the baby to be yeah. bathed, for him to snatch the baby yeah. out. And it was the same scenario in, um, was it Exodus, the time mm. for Moses? Mm. And I remember that um, 
in that you know in the scripture in Exodus it says that the Hebrew women were given strength to birth so quickly that by the time uh, the midwives from Egypt were coming the babies were out mm. and so for me when i think about spiritual birthing because you know it's surrounded by a lot of there's a lot of uncertainty when it comes to birthing i think one of the things that we need to do actively now mm. in terms of act, act, um, being active in our processes of birthing is we have to really pray mm. so you know because you have to pray for the strength That's you have to pray for the strength like you know for mm. like the way a hebrew woman would give birth quickly mm. you have to pray for protection of mm. that baby that you're bathing mm. you know you have to pray you have to be conscious of the surrounding so you have to be discerning and for you to be discerning you have to be in the word you have to mm. be in prayer so mm. it's a very active process that mm. takes um that requires of us a lot mm. Uh, mm. physically spiritually and mm. even solically mm. like you have to be so connected okay. to that process mm. 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 yeah yeah So uh, just on uh, the issue of uh, midwives actually that's one of the things that was uh, coming to mind that um, it's uh, they play a very Im- important role so during the birthing uh, process and birthing could be birthing a, a business it could be a relationship it could be some a vision whatever it is but um, that during the course of uh, 2019 that would be careful to identify the appropriate um, midwives right that will enable or will support us and be there for us to be able to actually uh birth whatever it is the vision and so forth and to bring the pregnancy forth so um that will be something that we need to be keen about and also um this midwife it could be an individual but it could be a ministry it could be a conference mm-hmm. you know it could be a meeting it could be something very very different but that serves as a catalyst that enables uh that um birthing or that vision to come forth as it ought so i think that that is something that uh, also uh, comes mind for 2019 mm-hmm. and also with birthing uh the multiple you can have multiple birthings right yeah mm-hmm. so just because you've had one yeah. child That's not or, the end. right doesn't necessarily <laughs> yeah. mean that to start general some mm-hmm. people may say I'll never <laughs> yeah. but generally as a as a believer mm-hmm. if you're walking with with Christ that there are going to be multiple births that mm-hmm. you're going mm-hmm. to have yeah. so that's another thing that um as we birth this doesn't mean that that's, that's it, it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. that there will also be others so to be in a place and a frame of mind that we're able mm-hmm. to prepare and anticipate for mm-hmm. that uh, that reality as well mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i just have a question mm-hmm. maybe I'll throw it back to us I'm just thinking of process like how do you prepare you know like even for physical bathing you normally prepare you're told uh, you pack a bag there's a bag that's ready this is this is the way you take care of your body this is the foods that you eat this is what you need you know you go for medical checkup so even in terms of bathing um the dreams that God has put in us the visions the businesses you know the assignments that we have what what are the kind of things that we should prepare what what can we do in preparation for the bathing Oh, yeah. I think I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll use nutrition as as a, as a key one. When you think about nutrition is what you put in, mm-hmm. what you put in that uh, strengthens you to keep the capacity to hold the pregnancy. Um if you think about it in terms of birthing vision um or thinking about it in the spiritual sense, it's what are you listening to? What are you reading? What what is getting into you that will support because your nutrition can be a hit or a miss mm. yeah and it can be the thing that actually uh cuts short um pregnancy. the pregnancy mm. which is very scary that you can actually go to the very end and fail to manifest that birthing just because of what you put in so it's very key, it's very key that in 2019 you check what what are the materials you're reading um you know on top of the bible uh is it are they is it material that actually edifies you that strengthens your faith um that gives you new perspective new insights because you need you need to balance out uh, as as you said um the midwife could be could be a conference yeah but mm. it also could be what you're also taking in yeah it could be something that's facilitating the process because that's what nutrition does it it just gets into your body and helps facilitate the capacity to hold it in so in 2019 let's be mindful of what we are taking in and even the people we listen to because at times we we let we we let everyone be the person who tells you and this one I've seen even with the physical bathing uh people who tell you you should eat this eat that and they don't know your physiology they don't know what you're carrying mm. and it's only you at the end of the day and your body and your physiology that that will dictate what goes well with you and your capacity 
just to add to that a bit, if um, it, it, it's it's common practice to find people coming to speak to a to a, a child when they are in the womb, mm. and and but you don't allow everyone. It's mm. not everyone that you allow. So just the same in, in terms of bathing vision and bathing the things that you're supposed to be bathing. We cannot allow just any Tom, Dick and Harry to come and speak into our lives, speak into the vision that we are carrying in this year. We have to be conscious to, uh, you know, secure the perimeter, put a hedge a, a, around around who it is that is speaking. Mm. Um, who in terms of music, in terms of movies, in terms of uh, the materials that we we are letting in, garbage in, garbage out. We mm. don't want that kind of situation. So uh, it's important to just secure that perimeter. Yeah. yeah. I think that there's also the place of uh, periodic checkups yeah, mm. to ensure that uh, the pregnancy is uh, going according to plan and it's uh, growing as it ought. So I think that uh, that is something that we... Um, we should put in place. And those checkups need to be uh, something that uh, we're faithful to do. So it could be, uh, it could look like different things uh, for, for different people, but uh, certainly it's uh, being able to touch base uh, with the place of um, that anchors you, uh, where it is that you're able to get um, appropriate and trustworthy mm. counsel, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, that could be um, certainly spending time with God, but you could also have somebody that is able uh, to be trusted with what it is that you're going through. And you're just, just keeping on just touching base to ensure that things are on track and that the pregnancy is, is actually progressing in a way that is viable and it's healthy so that you'll have success at the point mm -hmm. of delivery as well. Yeah. And I'm also thinking even in terms of uh, delivery, you know, once the baby comes, you bought the clothes, you have the baby court, you have the room they're going to sleep in. So even in terms of delivering or giving back to the dreams and visions that we have, we have to have you know those physical facilities of how the baby will be received. So if it's a business, we have a name, we have, we've registered, you know, we've done a logo. Yeah. Um, like we need to step out and do the things that are going to encase this baby when the baby comes. So that now you don't start doing them when the baby is here. So mm. if it's that logo, that business logo that you need to get done, if it's deciding what the theme of your business is, or getting a, a bath, or if it's writing your vision, like now for example, if you're anticipating to bath even a post in the, in the corporate world, if you're, if you're maybe, you know, God has given you a promise that you're working towards becoming, you know, a head of department, a director, a CEO, what is the vision that you have for when you get to that CEO? What, what are the kind of things that you're going to work towards? What, what is the word that you're standing on? So I think that we need to put practical, we need to be to work on practical things that are going to encase the baby when the baby comes. Mm. So that now we don't start doing them once the baby is here. Mm. Yeah. And then so because we are we have we've come to the close of this series, what, what would be your parting shots, you know, for the for the for the whole series in terms of the prophetic word for twenty nineteen? I wish you a happy new year. It's still, I know it's February now, but um, we, as we continue, let's wage a good warfare with, mm -hmm. let's play our part. God is a faithful God. He keeps his part. So let us call labor with him by playing our part. Mm -hmm. um, I think for me, it's just to reiterate that God is a covenant keeping God. Um, there's evidence all around, uh, I'm sure in your own life, if you track God, he has kept his word. Um, up until now, even if uh, even to this moment that you're watching this video, um, I think if you if you put your trust uh, in Him, He will put His trust in you because He has an assignment for you, and the assignment is for you, for your generations, and for the nation. I think there's an element of uh, adventure in uh, 2019, mm -hmm. and uh, that we should not try to be prescriptive. Um, to God about what it is that he ought to do. Mm -hmm. So as much as we are, we are opening ourselves up to him, that we should let him be him mm -hmm. and do things in a way that will pleasantly surprise us at every turn. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Amen. And I feel that um, we should wear our boots. Like I feel like we should wear our boots. So wear the boots and the boots in the word of God uh, in Ephesians. Those are them. It's the, it says, what does it say in Ephesians? fitted with the gospel of peace, yeah? So we need to surround ourselves with the word. So this prophetic word that we've spoken, that um, the company of prophets have spoken even in the previous series, just meditate on it, write it down, st stick it up on your wall, let it surround you, wear it, and move out with it. You have to be 
one 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 on one with that word you have become one with the word for you to be able to manifest because um, we are doing we are not doing any justice to the kingdom of god by not manifesting mm -hmm. yeah so we have to manifest as sons of the kingdom and when we birth our dreams and visions we are manifesting so mm -hmm. i wish you all the best in 2019 god bless you thank you so much for tuning in to just angie this is mwenye inchi monday mm -hmm. and as promised pastor angie will be back so take care bye Bye. Bye.